Hey folks, welcome to the Darknet channel. Going through and cleaning up a couple more cases here. This is the typical way for you to go through and how it would come out with the supports. If you, however, go through and change it to the organic way, it gives you organic supports, which will still support enough for it to be printed. But the cool part is, is that it actually uses a lot less filament and is a heck of a lot easier to clean. I think my uncut video was 20 minutes going through and cleaning this. Um, I've started experimenting using this way and actually flipping the case upside down like this for it to print this way. So if you can actually look to see here, this thing is flipped. This takes less time for it to go through and print and clean up between the two changes. So I'm going through and printing off a bunch of these now. I also experimented changing it from PETG to PLA to get different colors, especially like the color changing here. It's pretty cool looking. So if you want to do this, go jump on to our GitHub, download the body file. Once you've done that, open it up inside of Prusa Slicer. Once you've imported it, go to your supports, enforcing everywhere, slice now. It brings up the default grid. Instead, now go to the print settings, go over to the support material and go down to where it says style down to organic. Then you go back to your platter, then you hit slice now again, and now you can see the organic supports instead which takes a lot less time and effort to clean a lot less printing material it is absolutely fantastic i would go print everything like this from here moving forward so the nice thing is, is that this is like literally finger breakable at this point to where you can take this off fairly easily and some of the areas you're still going to need some tools but it is a lot easier now so between I still prefer doing the flat snips to go through and do this, so if we want to just jump in here and start cleaning this one up, we can poke this through here, get that cleaned up, come in through here, that's pretty clean. So, loving seeing everybody's designs and different faces that they're going through and making. That is awesome. I know a couple folks have reached out for the actual uh, source files. Everything was written or was created in Tinkercad. So, if you can export it from there, you should be good to go. Uh, I know there, there are much better CAD programs out there for folks who are doing this professionally. I just wanted to show power of starting off with something basic and then going from there. So the entire section just came off really easy. So coming in here, getting that angle right, and you're able to clean this off so much quicker. Pew. So yeah, hopefully you guys are having fun with it. Um, and when Digital and I were making the case, we planned for the 3000 milliamp hour battery. You can obviously do the smaller. Uh, some folks I'm seeing are actually going through and trying to see if they can hook up the GPS, which is great. On the GPS side, there are a couple other boards out there that have GPS built in. Uh, we actually opted not to do GPS uh, because when you're using it with the app, you can actually go through and use the GPS through your mobile device and then either toggle that on or off. So then you can decide if you want that shared out to the mesh network or not. So we went with the more privacy conscious option and it actually saved a few bucks as well. Um, so in the future, you can always either just use the app option to turn things GPS on or depending on how you guys go through and modify it in the future, look at some other modules that you can go through and put on whether it's GPS you'll see some of the other ones that are out there as well uh, sky's the limit see what you guys can come up with which is why I'm so excited about this this year because we have lots of different options so like I said between flipping this and just a single flat cutters 
We're making quick work of it. So, the flat cutters, flipping the case, and then changing this to organic. Alright, this side's the fun side, so let's clip this first. Just straight off. Come in here. Take this off pretty easily. Get your flat cutters in there. And you could use like a power Dremel tool in here as well, if you wanted to. Um, I'm trying to use the least amount of tools that you'd either have to pick up or that you'd have around the house. So you have lots of different options, but so far with this upgrade, this has made it a lot easier to go through and clean. If you don't want to dry it, buy a Dremel, you might also be able to find yourself like a uh, Harbor Freight and get an inexpensive uh, grinder or drill there to be able to go through and clean. But I think with this upgrade, it's actually a little bit overkill. Unless you're going through and modifying a bunch, then it might be useful. Pretty flat so far. Get some little clip there. So let's flatten this out a little bit. So later on, or maybe with you just getting introduced to 3D printing, you're starting to learn about the different filament types. PLA, you have a lot more options and it's actually the first thing I started printing with so it's very easy to print it's not super dependent on uh, humidity and the temperature being the same it's fairly forgiving prints fairly clean you also have a lot of different color options um, I ended up upgrading to the PETG because for my area, if I wanted to make stuff outside, or for outside, it wouldn't melt in the sun as easy as PLA does. So, it can get disformed. We'll have to do an experiment with that. Okay, that's fairly flat. That's fairly flat. Oh, this corner's not done yet. Sweet. Sweet. And that's pretty darn fast comparatively. Looks fairly clean. And I haven't done a front or a back for this one yet. But the back is just said and done fairly easily. Clean up the front real quick.
So, with that, I'm guessing this is probably half the amount of time to do the cleanup. Which, if you're only doing one, that may not be a big deal, but if you're printing off a whole bunch of them, or you're printing off for your friends and family, or your hackerspace, every little bit of time can help. And if it's taking less uh, filament, that's even better too. You can bring them top more items. Cool. Well, this is a much faster walkthrough for sure. You can like, subscribe to the video, subscribe to the, uh, the channel for more information like this. Uh, if you liked the design or you found this helpful because you wanted to go print yourself off a Lily Go case, uh, those are available up on Principles and Thingiverse. And if you want to donate to our local hackerspace, there should be links in the description to do that as well. Make sure to give back to your, your community and go love your hacker family. We're all set. Got our pieces ready to go, ready to install. Thanks all.